Hello everyone, Michael Hobson here in my own private listening room at home, bringing to you uh, information really about my own personal archives called the Michael Hobson Archives from Classic Records. And what you see here behind me is a complete representation of more or less all that Classic Records put out in its, uh, its almost 18-year tenure before being sold to Acoustic Sounds. And I've, um, along the way during that period of time, from about 1993, end of 1993 all the way through 2010, whenever we had a release come out, I would personally have copies, the best copies selected and put away for my own personal archive. In addition to, we had regular copies put away for the Classic Records archive, which Chad Kassam at Acoustic Sounds got, but my collection was a little more special, as you can imagine, and that's just based kind of on my personality of being an extremist in many ways. But um, yeah, here's the kind of the output of Classic Records in many different forms. So I think we put out somewhere around five or six hundred titles, if I recall correctly. But of those, there were many different versions quite often. Um, there were different vinyl profiles, there were different vinyl formulations, um, different packaging. Uh, sometimes uh, we started putting out 45s, we kind of started that whole single-sided 45 thing. And so there are different versions of that. Clarity, black vinyl, no groove guard, 200 gram, uh, clarity vinyl and so on and so this represents um, you know what the entire collection is and what I've decided to do is these were all numbered uh, as part of my personal archive and have a little sticker on the back um, that designates it as such and all of the number one of the collection which at first I had five of each thing pulled aside height of the stamper and the best copies that were possible from the first stamper. So to be honest, there is not a collection of classic records more rare and more desirable and more valuable than this, the number one MH archive, um, you know, set. And um, so I'm offering it up uh, at this point because now I've had it for 26, 27 years now, and um, it seems like it's time. I'm offering it up intact uh, because I'd like to see it go to one person as opposed to selling it off individually, which I've done with the sort of the three, four, and five copies that I mentioned earlier. And I could make a lot more money, or we could make a lot more money uh, selling them off individually, but I really, really would like one person to have this collection of all of the number ones. And so that's why this is being made available. And um, just as an indication, I'm actually surprised, it surprised me, I don't stay closely in touch with this, but some of the releases um, since the time they were first made available and subsequently went out of print have uh, kind of risen in value to levels that I think are somewhat stratospheric. Probably the most important of which is this Royal Ballet box. Uh, this is the 45 RPM version that we put out to start. Actually, we reused some of the original uh, Classic Records box outers and had a sticker made and so forth. Um, a copy of this recently uh, went for $1,500. And then um, I was surprised, but this is one of my favorites, which is the same performance, but this is the 33 RPM original Soria version, where we put it out with the original dowel. We put this out actually in year two of Classic Records. I think it came out in, in like 1995. And this is an original copy, still sealed. And um, it is, uh, I think that, those went, that one, one went on uh, eBay, I think for $1,400. And then there's some other crazy things that are kind of, of uh, surprising to me in some ways. This Led Zeppelin Volume 1, um, 
Interestingly, um, we sort of put this out, had a sticker made, put it on a white box, put Led Zeppelin one through four in at 180 gram, and then um, we put in the Stairway to Heaven 45. This was pressed at RTI, and uh, one of these recently went for about $900 which is uh, kind of shocking, but that seems to be what's happened in the vinyl market. Just a few other examples. Uh, one, I'm, I'm um, this Jethro Tull Aqualon uh, Clarity 45 set. Um, I think those are going for about $600 now. And um, let's see what else. Um, oh, this is, a, this is a, one of my faves too. This is a recording that we did at Classic Records of Lorna Hunt. Um, all in one day, four record 45 set that uh, recently went for about $550. Just trying to give you an idea of what the, what the secondary market is for these. Ah, Santana Supernatural. This is one I never would have guessed. Um, we put this out because of uh, my good friend Steve Bartles at Arista. Um, re-signed Santana and put this record out. It was a big hit, obviously. There was a big hit on it. And, um, you know, I think copies of these are going for about $500 now. So, um, and, and just a few others. Oh, here's here's uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, original 45 RPM set that we put out. Um, I think uh, this is going for about $600 now. So, you know, just to, just to give you a flavor of what the value in the secondary market for is with all this stuff. And um, also just know that all of these have been uh, in my basement, uh, climate controlled completely, um, you know, temperature and climate controlled uh, since they were put there. And so in absolutely perfect condition and I believe that uh, everything is in mint condition it's never been opened everything's been sealed and um, question is why am I doing this and the answer is twofold one I think it's time you know I've had this stuff sitting around for 25 years it's time for it to go and, and be in somebody else's hands but secondly I've moved on from the music world into the world of water. And I started a new company called A Clean Springs, which is gonna bring some really special, as you can imagine, high-end water to the market starting this year. And so stay tuned for that as well, cleansprings.com if you're interested. So anyway, just to recap, uh, this is gonna be made available to, those, to, the, to the world uh, for anybody who would like to have the maybe the ultimate collection of classic records, certainly, um, for you to um, enjoy, hopefully, but certainly probably act as a store of value and probably appreciate um, dramatically over time. Some of the records that I showed you originally went for 30 or $40 a piece and have increased in value sometimes 10 or 20 times. So anyway, Thank you very much and good luck.